the idea, of course, originally came from Howard Hinesley, uh, who had been in Kansas City and seen this Hallmark Center called Exchange City. And he kept um, approaching Dad, uh, who was very busy in the community t at the time as well as at Florida pra Progress. And he said, you know, I really want you to start a foundation and build this for our students in Pinellas County. We can do a lot of talking in the classroom and a lot of instruction, but we're attempting to make as, as close to real life running a business as we can with Enterprise Village. After several requests, he finally said, okay. I don't think anyone would have imagined that Enterprise Village would become a worldwide free enterprise program for the children of the world, not just of Pinellas County. For Enterprise Village, we went around as a kind of a dog and pony show with the superintendent and the, uh, we talked to people with, with this, with this mock-up of Enterprise Village and we raised $1.1 million. He went and got Barnett Bank or Morton Plant Hospital or Florida Power so that these businesses were, be, were familiar with these fifth graders when they became adults in this community. This is Enterprise Village, a place where a lesson in economics comes to life. This program is a joint venture involving the school district, the business community, and a group of very dedicated volunteers. The beneficiaries are the children. He once said that the reality was by far better than the dream. You've heard me say, tell me I forget, show me I may remember, but involve me. I understand. Uh, Gus has, a, has had a vision of how to bring people to a level they never thought they could achieve. And, and that's what always inspired me with, with his ability to, to see things that most of us don't see. Well, all you have to do is look around as we're here in Enterprise Village uh, on this Friday, and you see youngsters that are excited, they're motivated, you don't see, you see smiles on their face and they don't look like what people might think well they're just passing time no these these youngsters are having a good time and they're learning enterprise village has been such a legend in our, our, our community i think if you talk to any adult in this community because it's been around we're celebrating its 30th year they'll tell you the one thing they remember about pinellas county school is enterprise village and what they were and how they served during that uh, during that day at enterprise village uh, my own children went through Enterprise Village and they remember exactly how they get dressed up, the position they had, how they had an interview for it, and it gives us a, an opportunity to, to be an adult for the day. Enterprise Village is one of those unique opportunities that when I'm out in the community and I'm talking about the Pinellas Education Foundation and I mention Enterprise Village, instantly the person can tell me, oh, I was the mayor, oh, I worked in the bank, I was a teller. I mean, they, it resonates with them. It's one of those sort of monumental moments in a student's experience in Pinellas County Schools is their opportunity to come to Enterprise Village. If you ask a child 10 years after they leave here, what was their best experience at school, many of them come back and say Enterprise Village, you know. Uh, we have a spot here, Ditech, and it's uh, manufacturing and they bring out the tools every morning for these young people. We've got young people learning about our free enterprise system and learning that career and technical education is not a bad path. So I was actually one of the first students to attend Enterprise Village when it first opened about 30 years ago. Two of my daughters have been through Enterprise Village so far, um, and I got to experience that as well as a volunteer, so I got to come here and watch them in action. Uh, it was nice to hear that my kids chose to be the managers of Better Business Bureau, which is a company that I now work for, and we're able to be a sponsor of Enterprise Village and help support what the organization is doing. In the curriculum, the students learn about their skill sets, where their strengths, their weaknesses, and they apply for jobs using those strengths and weaknesses. It is an experience like none other, and uh, it also teaches us about hands-on learning, application. You can do anything you want in the classroom through textbooks. But when you go into an environment where it's actually a, a community village, it's so meaningful to students, and they remember that forever. But at the end of the day, the most important thing is the impact that we're having on students. The Education Foundation is all about bringing equitable, innovative solutions to Pinellas County Schools. One doesn't realize exactly when one starts something, uh, how it's going to go. But I've often said, uh, nobody accomplishes anything 
alone, not one person. It needs people working together, mm -hmm. a team, a village, uh, an enterprise village. Mm -hmm.